I'm going to talk about keratin, its structural makeup, and its interaction with the body. What is keratin? As you can see on the bottom right here, this is the molecular makeup and structure of the keratin molecule, and it forms an extremely strong fibrous protein. It's a combination of 18 amino acids, it forms crystalline disulfide bridges, and it constructs helix shapes when it links up with other molecules of keratin. It's produced by keratinocyte cells, which die after it gives birth to keratin, and it's highly insoluble in water. Keratin is found throughout the body. It's found in the hair as a strengthening agent, where each hair can withstand 100 grams. So the average head of hair of 120,000 can keep up the strength of 12 tons. It's found in the skin and it helps maintain the health of our skin and it gives us the pigment in our skin. It's found in animals' hooves and that's why they are so strong and hard. It's found in our teeth, it's found in our nails and it gives the nails their shiny and hard structure and it's also found in animals' horns. Keratin's function is to help protect the body. It gives the body the strength that it needs to go about its daily activities. It helps cells when they want to signal to and from each other, and it helps cells go through apoptosis when they die. We can acquire keratin in the foods that we eat, but the foods that are best are the ones that are high in protein. Vitamin C helps us absorb keratin, so it's good to consume fruits and vegetables that are high in vitamin C, such as citrus, peppers, Brussels sprouts, and other foods. Gelatin is also an excellent source of keratin. And throughout our daily nutritional intake, if we consume enough keratin, this helps the body to aid in the growth of hair, maintenance of skin, and the healthy growth of nails. Now let's talk about what happens in the body if you do not get enough keratin. First of all, you will start to lose hair. Your hair will slow in growth and you will also have a thinner head of hair. If the nails are not getting enough keratin, they can become weaker and brittle. The growth of our fingernails can slow and there also will be a discolorization of the fingernails and toenails. If our skin is not receiving enough keratin, the skin cells can actually die, they can slow in growth, and there can also become a discolorization of the skin. Now let's talk about keratin treatments, and we'll have you see if they work. A keratin treatment is most always administered by a hairstylist. It takes about two hours to complete, and there are two parts to this treatment. One is a serum that's applied to the hair, and after the product is absorbed, the keratin is sealed in by a flat iron. Some of these treatments include the keratin complex smoothing therapy by Coppola, the global keratin complex, the La Brasiliana treatment, Brazilian keratin treatment, the Brazilian blowout, and Brazilian hair straightening. Here you can see a lady that's gone from massively damaged frizzy hair to very straight shiny and luscious hair. So people say they work. They also lessen the time blow drying takes by 40 to 50 percent. 
on very humid days, your hair will be less frizzy or not frizzy at all. And these treatments usually last for about two months.